Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and give you guys the day three progression of the RF jug. Uh, we actually did a lot today and had some pretty crazy drops. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump into a map, show you guys what the character looks like, and then we're going to go ahead and talk about everything. Um, yeah, so let's go. Uh, just to state, we are on a five link right now, so we don't have a six link yet. None of our gems are quality to either. Um, and, you know, the damage is not going to be very amazing. We're SSF Righteous Fire Jug. So, uh, yep, everything here is a work in progress. Let's go. I cannot do this yet. I do have to say, so far, I am very impressed with Jug. Uh, I was expecting the damage to feel much worse. Um, it actually feels totally fine. Uh, after getting the 5 link and swapping Ink AoE with efficacy, things feel really good. And my 5 link is actually not even... Ooh, Tukahama touch. What does that do? Does that, does that give me loot? Do you give loot? Holy loot! Oh, I actually needed that map. That's awesome. Cool. Yeah, cool. Very nice. All right, cool. Let's keep going. Yeah, so uh, I had I had some damage issues for quite a bit today. Um, ended up doing our first Searing Exarch. Um, unfortunately, did not get our Dawnbreaker, so that did kind of suck a little bit. Um, however, we did get something else, which I will show you guys very soon after this map. Uh, so now we are in the progress of essentially getting ready to farm an elder map slash um, potentially soon redo our atlas to farm essences. Oh, there's just so much stuff here. Uh, I'm not going to do the ritual because it's going to add like another five minutes. So we're just going to wait. I am going to be going ritual spec. I actually, I got my shield out of ritual that I will show you guys after this map. Ritual is a uh, for me, a big part of my SSF progression, it, it just gives a lot of random things that can really assist in the gearing process right now. Oops, I just turned off that shrine. Didn't even need to do that. My mana is gone. The Infernal Cry Pops are very juice, as I'm sure you guys have seen. They're even going to get better soon when my Infernal Cry hits 20, and then we flip it, and then it's level 1, but 20% quality, which gives it AoE. Oh, it's going to feel pretty nice. So the boss damage is okay. It got a lot better after I did my swap. We still, again, don't have an Elder Helm. Um, so we have a shit ton more damage to come. We'll just come back in here and do all this after. Doesn't matter. Okay, so let's talk about kind of what we did today. So I ended up finding a new weapon. Um, this weapon was found via betrayal. You can tell because, well, actually, you kind of can't tell, but basically the weapon dropped. I unveiled, got lucky, hit fire multi, crafted fire damage. That's my new weapon. Um, you know, my, I'm not going to go over all the links because the links didn't really change much. Uh, helmet. I think you guys saw this helmet yesterday. I'm not sure. Uh, I threw a few essences on our acres we didn't really hit anything the mono region is okay um nothing has really changed there i believe it's the exact same amulet i did however get a new chest piece uh, i dropped a six socket astral plate ended up six linking it in like 25 30 fusings then i got lucky with my off colors um and yeah this is pretty much what we're using so to craft this um i'm not gonna lie this was kind of a process i did a bit of harvest reforged defense here because I really wanted to get decent physical. I uh, was not really getting lucky. I went through all my essences, which is not really much. Uh, then I decided to close my eyes and scour Alk, and we ended up hitting something like this. So honestly, pretty decent. 
Um, the armor is a bit on the low side, but it is definitely usable. And the reason I wanted to use this is because of the five link. I really wanted to get some extra clear. Uh, previously, I was using this chest. Yeah, 2.2k armor chest. So my links right now are Righteous Fire, Swift Affliction, Life Tap, Efficacy, Elemental Focus, uh, and then six link will be Burn Damage. The reason I'm not running Ink AoE is the Jug Ascendancy Unyielding, along with this section here, is making up for that lack of AoE. Um, ended up getting, I guess I think the rings are the same. So same ring here, same ring here. Gloves are the exact same. Um, I'm not, I think the belt might be the same. Boots are probably the same. However, I got a new shield. Uh, found this shield through Ritual. It had an unveil on it. So Ritual has gear that comes well rolled. I snagged the shield so it had a T1 life roll with a T2 life regen. I, um, I crafted Dex Int because Dex and Int have a lot of rolls on a shield for unveiling. I unveiled, I had the choice between Lightning and Chaos Res or Curse Effect. I went with the Lightning and Chaos. I then crafted Fire and Chaos. That allows me to have Chaos Cap, um, actually a little bit over Chaos Cap. And now I do not use Asylum. I do not have a Chaos Flask and I'm not using Unrelenting. So for the points that I was specced into Asylum, which was one for the Mastery, two, three, four, five, I pulled and literally went one, two, three, four, five back into spiritual aid. Uh, recently, I actually dropped spiritual aid to come over here and grab heart of flame and breath of flames. Um, but now I dropped asylum and went back into this. Uh, the character is an absolute juggernaut. Somehow we are deathless. I have really thrown my face at content. I mean, I'm literally not kidding when I say thrown my face. I did a searing exarch today on a four link um, and he dropped a perfect omniscience. Uh, I was very sad at this reaction because all I wanted was a Dawnbreaker, yet he dropped me an Omniscience. I'm not really sure if I'm ever going to do something with it, but it will sit here and taunt me until I figure out what to do with it. Um, so that was pretty much one of the big highlights. Also, we got three Divines today. Uh, we got two out of a duped Strongbox and one out of... I don't actually remember what the last one dropped out of. We're also up to three Exalts. Exalts are going to be really good for potential uh, future crafting. But yeah, I mean, that pretty much is the character. The character is is really going through right now. Um, I have also added in Wave of Conviction here. So I dropped the Life Tap that was previously here on my uh, Frost Blink because I don't really need it. Uh, and Wave of Conviction is just for that fire exposure, just to make sure we have a little bit of extra damage when we are fighting those tougher targets, um, just because, you know, it, it really does help a lot. So... The exposure is nice. We will be able to completely remove the exposure when we get exposure on our gloves, but these gloves are so shit that I don't want to invest my precious ickers on them, um, which are currently right here. I don't really have that many of them. We'll do one for good luck. Let's see. Let's see. One for good luck. Ready? Set? Oh, that's weird. One for good luck. Hold exposure! I want to talk about it. <clears throat> yeah, so that's pretty much been the character. I have really, really enjoyed the progression. It's been pretty solid. Uh, for people who are going to ask numbers, I put the numbers up on the screen so you guys can see. We're 227k uh, on our RF, and we are currently 218k on our Fire Trap, and they will be rising as my gems get quality and my gems level up. I did uh, get to flip a lot of gems today. So, for example, I have like a life tap here that's leveling, a righteous fire leveling, another RF, a fire trap. And these are hopefully so we can vol them at 2020 with a chance at 21. But yeah, that's pretty much about it. Uh, to cover the Atlas, we are now, um, I have specced into intelligence gathering to build up Katarinas to get our, our flask unveil. And we are working on remnants of the past. Uh, remnants of the past is to get some elder guardian maps. I did run two Kirak elder missions and both of them dropped a total of well, okay, that's not true. They both dropped zero Elder items, but then I did a Betrayal Encounter and it dropped an Elder item, but I have not gotten an Elder Helm. We have one Essence of Horror, which we are saving, obviously, for our Elder Helm. But yeah, so that's pretty much our character progression right now. So I'm pretty excited to keep on going, uh, but that's going to be it for me. So hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox, except for Mondays. See you guys all tomorrow, and thanks for watching.